Soren Kierkegaard brilliantly identifies two pathways to deception, the acceptance of falsehoods and the denial of truth. We often live our lives under the veil of ignorance, unaware of our own lack of understanding. However, there are moments when extraordinary individuals awaken us from this state, which, though blissful, is rooted in unawareness. This awakening is akin to the age-old myth of a hero bringing wisdom, often portrayed through the motifs of light or fire in a realm shrouded in darkness. This theme is universal, resonating through various cultures and reflected in literature and art worldwide. A classic instance of this is Plato's allegory of the cave, introduced to many in their formative educational years. The true depth of this allegory often eludes understanding until later in life, when individuals begin to question the established norms and develop their own set of beliefs and values. In today's episode, created in collaboration with After School, we explore this transformative journey. We delve into Plato's allegory of the cave, linking it to ancient myths and the universal concept of the hero's journey. This allegory, pivotal in philosophical thought, poses profound questions about the nature of reality, knowledge, and the path to enlightenment. Featured in Plato's essential work, The Republic, the allegory serves as a narrative metaphor, tracing humanity's transition from ignorance to enlightenment. It offers a deep exploration of the essence of knowledge and the journey toward acquiring wisdom. This narrative finds echoes in various myths and philosophical discussions, especially paralleling the Greek myth of Prometheus and the universal hero's journey. Plato uses the setting of an underground cave where prisoners, cut off from the outside world, are confined to observe only the shadows cast on a wall by objects behind them. This illusion is disrupted for one prisoner when he is liberated and encounters the outside world for the first time. Initially, the dazzling brightness of the sun overwhelms him, and he is disoriented by the new surroundings. However, as he adjusts to this novel perspective, he starts to understand and appreciate the world around him, from the reflections in water to the direct observation of objects, culminating in his ability to look at the sun, the ultimate illuminator. Upon his return to the cave, his efforts to share his insights are met with scorn and rejection. The other prisoners, misinterpreting his disorientation, dismiss his discoveries. Plato uses this scenario to illustrate the challenge faced by philosophers in enlightening a society mired in ignorance. This allegory, mirroring real-life events, draws a parallel to the fate of Socrates, who was condemned by the Athenian state. To fully appreciate the depth of the allegory, one must consider its historical backdrop and the broader philosophical concepts that Plato espoused. Emerging from the intellectually fertile period of Athens, Plato's allegory encapsulates his ideas on metaphysics and epistemology, profoundly influenced by his teacher, Socrates. In The Republic, Plato discusses concepts of justice and the ideal state, using the allegory as a tool to expound his theory of forms. He posits that the world we perceive through our senses is merely an imperfect reflection of the true world of forms or ideas. The prisoners in the cave symbolize humanity, deceived by misleading appearances, while the freed prisoner embodies the enlightened philosopher whose duty is to educate and guide society, even in the face of opposition and misunderstanding. In Plato's allegory of the cave, as articulated by Socrates, a profound truth is uncovered. People often cling to their ignorance and resist those who challenge their long-held beliefs. This allegory, teeming with interpretive richness, imparts diverse and deep insights into the nature of truth and perception. The narrative finds a parallel in historical events, particularly in the fate of Socrates, Plato's mentor. Socrates was executed by the Athenian state, an experience mirroring the hostility faced by the allegory's freed prisoner from his cave companions. Socrates' perceived crime was his disruption of the societal norm by questioning the established order. To fully grasp the meaning of the allegory, it is essential to consider its historical backdrop and its connection to Plato's broader philosophical doctrines. The 5th century BCE in Athens was a time of intense intellectual and cultural flourishing, often labeled as the Golden Age of Athens. This period was distinguished by an explosion of philosophical inquiry in fields such as ethics, metaphysics, and epistemology. 
Socrates was a central figure in this intellectual atmosphere, championing philosophical methods that stressed critical thinking and rational debate, frequently provoking the established authorities. Socrates, who did not record his own thoughts, profoundly influenced Plato, his student. Plato's philosophical outlook, particularly apparent in his dialogues, often explores a variety of philosophical questions through the character of Socrates and others. In The Republic, which houses the allegory of the cave, Plato delves into justice and the ideal state. The allegory is used by Socrates to exemplify Plato's theory of forms. This theory posits that the world we sense is nothing more than an illusion, a faint reflection of the true world of forms or ideas. These forms are envisioned as eternal, immutable, perfect archetypes, contrasting sharply with the transient, flawed nature of the empirical world. The prisoners in the cave, fixated on shadows, symbolize humanity trapped in a web of illusions and false appearances. The freed prisoner embodies the philosopher or enlightened individual who comprehends the world of forms and achieves genuine knowledge. Upon his return to the cave, this enlightened individual encounters resistance and hostility, exemplifying the philosopher's responsibility to educate society, even in the face of opposition. This allegory effectively captures Plato's philosophical concepts, providing a profound contemplation on the essence of reality, the quest for truth, the role of the philosopher, and the transformative effect of knowledge. The myth of Prometheus from ancient Greece's mythical lore shows remarkable similarities to Plato's cave allegory. Prometheus, whose name means forethought, defies the gods to bestow fire, a symbol of knowledge and civilization, upon humanity. This myth mirrors the journey of the freed prisoner in Plato's allegory, who returns to the cave with newfound knowledge, akin to Prometheus bringing fire to humankind. In both stories, the protagonists embark on a heroic quest, venturing into unknown territories and returning with life-altering wisdom. However, the spread of this knowledge in both tales is met with dire repercussions rather than appreciation. Prometheus endures harsh divine retribution, while the enlightened cave dweller is greeted with disbelief and hostility. These narratives underscore the difficulties faced by those who challenge entrenched perceptions and endeavor to guide others toward enlightenment. In Plato's renowned allegory of the cave, as interpreted by his disciple Socrates, a profound truth is revealed. Individuals often seek comfort in ignorance, exhibiting defensiveness when their deep-rooted beliefs are questioned. This allegory is abundant in meanings, offering a range of insights into the nature of truth and how we perceive it. The allegory echoes the real-life ordeal of Socrates, Plato's mentor. Socrates was condemned to death by the Athenian authorities, mirroring the hostility faced by the freed prisoner from his companions in the cave for challenging established societal norms. To fully grasp the allegory's nuances, it's important to place it within its historical setting and link it to the broader philosophical ideals propagated by Plato. The 5th century BCE in Athens, often hailed as the Golden Age, was a period of immense intellectual and cultural growth. This era witnessed a flourishing of philosophical inquiry, particularly in areas like ethics, metaphysics, and epistemology. Socrates was a central figure in this era, known for advocating methods that emphasized critical reasoning and logical debate, frequently bringing him into conflict with existing authorities. Although Socrates did not personally document his theories, his philosophical techniques and dialectical methods are prominently featured in Plato's works. In his dialogues, Plato often addresses a variety of philosophical issues through the lens of Socrates. In The Republic, Plato includes the allegory of the cave, which primarily discusses justice and the ideal state. Here, the allegory serves to illustrate Plato's theory of forms. Plato suggests that the empirical world we experience is an illusion, a mere reflection of the true world of forms or ideas. These forms are perceived as eternal, unchangeable, and perfect, contrasting with the transient, imperfect nature of the empirical world. The prisoners in the cave, who see only shadows, are symbolic of humanity trapped in a web of illusions. The freed prisoner represents the philosopher or the enlightened individual who comes to understand the world of forms, achieving authentic knowledge. Upon his return to the cave, this enlightened philosopher faces resistance and hostility, 
highlighting the philosopher's responsibility to educate society despite facing opposition. The allegory thus encapsulates Plato's philosophical ideas, offering a thorough examination of the nature of reality, the quest for truth, the philosopher's role, and the power of knowledge to transform. Similarly, the ancient Greek myth of Prometheus shares notable parallels with Plato's allegory. Prometheus, meaning forethought, defies the gods to bring fire, a metaphor for knowledge and civilization, to humanity. This tale is parallel to the journey of the freed prisoner in Plato's allegory, who returns to the cave with new wisdom, akin to Prometheus's act of bringing fire to humanity. In both narratives, the protagonists embark on a journey of discovery and return with enlightening insights. However, the dissemination of this newfound knowledge is met with harsh consequences in both instances. Prometheus is punished by the gods, and the enlightened cave dweller is met with disbelief and antagonism. These stories highlight the obstacles faced by those who challenge conventional beliefs and seek to guide others toward a path of enlightenment. As we conclude our exploration of Plato's allegory of the cave, we're reminded of the enduring power of knowledge and the courage required to challenge the familiar shadows of our understanding. Like the freed prisoner or Prometheus, seeking enlightenment often means defying the norm and embracing the unknown. If this episode has ignited new thoughts for you, please share your insights in the comments. Your input enriches our collective journey. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell for more content that delves into the fascinating realms of philosophy and mythology. Thank you for joining us on this journey of discovery. Keep questioning, keep learning, and let's continue to seek truth together. Until next time.